Welcome to iBed Worse, uh, and I'm doing another £10 supermarket challenge. Uh, I did Tesco's last time, and I'll put a link to that one, uh, but I thought I'd wander off to Aldi. So slight difference in this one is I tried to get as many of their own brand uh, beers because uh, cheap and cheerful, not bad. Some can be a bit hit and miss, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and virtually all the beers, I say virtually, no. All the beers I have not reviewed, so uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this. I am waffling as ever. Let's kick off with Boa, which is, you know, a homage to Cobra. Uh, this is a uh, 4.5 Stonkin 660 mil, you know. How much is that, Madam Director? 149. 149. So I was going to say great value, but I haven't reviewed it yet, so it might not be. Uh, next is Pramo, which has shades of Star of Praman, uh, 5%, again 660, uh, Czech lager. So, be really interested to know what that tastes like. 165. 165, okay. This is Rossini Gran Reserva. Um, so, the normal Rossini they do is pretty much an homage to uh, Peroni. Uh, and Peroni do a Grand Reserve. Ta da! Um, so, again, a uh, 660ml bottle. Really looking forward to that. This was 199. 199. So, you know, going up in price there. Uh, okay, but I am in Wales. We do have a minimum pricing unit, uh, price per unit. So, this is, you know, uh, 5.9. So, is that the reason why that one's a little bit more? Yeah, possibly. Okay. So, I then chose uh, a Weiss beer. This is Rheinbacher. Uh, now I have tried this, but I've not reviewed it. And that's been for a while. So, you know, looking forward to this one. 5% uh, 500 mil. £1.29. £1.29 for a bloody wheat beer. <laughs> Baby beer compared to this. Okay, so then I went for the Toffee Ale. Um, this is Harper's Brewing Company, which is Aldi's Paper Brewery. Uh, I have reviewed this. I didn't like the... I couldn't edit all my guffing... You fluffed Yeah, out, the, out of the final product, so it, it never made it. So I'll be doing this one again, and I'll remind you that I have tried it. Um, this is a 4.8 500ml. £1.39. £1.39. So of... Uh, you know, I've not I've not tried these three. I've had this one a while ago. Done that one, uh, off the video. But there was no other own uh, brand uh, brand that I fancied. So I got one I hadn't reviewed, uh, although I've had, and that's Hobgoblin Gold. How much was that? One thirty nine. One thirty nine. So what was our grand total? Nine twenty. That. I think is not a bad range of beers for 920. Um, I said, had this, enjoyed it, not reviewed it, and I thought it was worth sharing with you guys because it's not a bad beer. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the rest. Okay, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of uh, Aldi beers. I think of the two German supermarkets, Aldi and Lidl, I would go so far as say Aldi has better beers, but some of them can be a little bit hit and miss. Um, the prices you pay, uh, you know, below par. Um, and on some of the blind taste tests that I've done, I certainly have either preferred um, their own brands over their own brands over branded. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, so they're not bad, uh, but you know, not brilliant, not bad. You get what you pay for, and you know. You're not paying a great deal. Okay, so there you go. Tell me what you would have chosen, uh, if at all. You I mean you might completely, you know, can't stand their range of beers. Uh, and if you'd like to see me do another supermarket, uh, drop it in the comments below. Right then. Cheers.